Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna add our vCenter server into Active Directory, and then we're gonna create a few groups in order to add those permissions to our vCenter and cluster. So if you guys are ready, let's get into the video, and please like, subscribe, and share. Let's go. All right, folks, so here we are on my vCenter. We just got done installing or adding all four of our hosts. So the next thing we can do is add this to our Active Directory. So since we're on Active Directory, I wanna add a few little groups in here. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger for you guys. Let's make this a little larger. Just so you guys can see. Whoa, that's really big, but I guess it's uh, better for you guys. All right, so groups. So I wanna go ahead and add two new groups. I wanna add a group called uh, do, 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 v center. This is just best practice. I want to make that admins. And then I want to make another group called read only. And you'll see that later on. New group. V center dash read only. Okay. And in here we have these users, right? User one and user two. So we're gonna to add to the admins, we're gonna add user one. So let's just use user one, okay? And then in read only, we'll add user two. Fair enough. All right, so let's go ahead and hit apply and okay. So now we have users into our security groups in AD. So let's go ahead and minimize that. Let's go ahead and open up our Whoa, that is pretty big. So let me go ahead and just come back here, make this maybe 150 might be good. I'm just looking, I think that's better. The other way is way too big. All right, so now what we can do is inside of this little hamburger up top, we can come down to administration, right? Inside of administration, we'll let this load up and we have a whole bunch of access controls global permissions. If you come all the way down here, we have single sign-on. So at the moment, we, we're logging in with administrator at vSphere.local. This is the local uh, vSphere domain. You can see only two domains here. We have local OS, which is the users for the local OS, and then vSphere.local, and this is what we're logged in as right now. Okay, you can see that. All right, so groups, same thing we only have access to our groups that are local. We, we're not connected to any AD, right? So just, just a heads up, once you add your VCSA or your vCenter to Active Directory, you're gonna have to reboot the, v, the, the vCenter server and that can take literally 15 minutes, just a heads up. So especially in a VMware environment or, or you know a nested environment, like I rebooted my VCSA today and it took me like 20 minutes to reboot. Just giving that heads up so you don't think anything's broken. All right, let me get that out of the way. All right, so we have configuration, we have local users, everything's logging into our vSphere.local, log on message, so on and so forth. So this is the password policy, the lockout policy, the token trustworthiness, and so far, uh, so on and so forth. Right, so our identity providers, we have our identity sources, which is our local, and our vSphere.local. We have Active Directory, which we are not joined to this Active Directory. So we can join AD, and let's go ahead and just put this in here. So infosecpat.local. All right, so I wanna go ahead and log in with my administrator account. All right, and then reboot the note. Okay, perfect, that's fine. Once this is there, we have infosecpat.local. Perfect, we can acknowledge this. And now what we need to do is reboot this, right? So we can come here for an example. See, we don't, you can't continue because vCenter single sign-on is not currently joined to any domain. Go to join domain, blah, blah, blah. We can see it's there, but we just have to 
reboot. Once this is rebooted, then we should see the infosecpat.local. So how do we reboot that? Let's go ahead and log into the uh, VMware vCenter server manager. Let's go ahead and log into here. I think it's administrator. I believe so. If not, I think, or maybe it's root. Is it administrator? No, I think it's root. So many different passwords, you know? So now once we log into our vCenter server manager, we can go to actions and then reboot and hit yes. Once this is rebooting, we can come back to ESXi1 where that's hosted. And then we can open this up and we can see this rebooting and we'll give that some time. Don't worry about that. Just let it reboot. And once this reboots and comes back, we'll resume the video. Thank you. All right, so that took maybe a couple minutes, five, six minutes to reboot and get back in. So now as we log back into our vCenter, right? So now we can see that it's joined identity sources. It's not here, right? And you're probably like freaking out once you reboot, it's not there. But what you have to do now is go to identity sources and we have to add the identity source. As you can see, it's there now and Active Directory Integrated Authenticated Services. So Windows Authentication, let's go ahead and add that. Now we should have that there, right? So now local groups. Okay, so now we have three identity sources. We have our local, vSphere.local, uh, local OS, and then infosecpath.local in my case, right? So now we can go to users and groups. Now we should see, let's go ahead and refresh this maybe. And now we have three domains here, right? So we can see that there's P Gorman. Let's make this maybe a little smaller, maybe 125, hopefully. So we have P Gorman, which is myself. We have user two, user one. So we can see all the users that are here in the groups we can see that we don't see the group yet. So let's go ahead and create group. Uh, look, we have to add the group first. Let me uh, go to find. Let's go ahead and see if it's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and go to next. We should see, let me see, let's go to next again. We don't see those users, uh, those groups. Let's, maybe we just have to add them. So let's go ahead and users, Groups, find group. Uh, let's go ahead and we have to add this somehow. Create group. All right. So let's go ahead and group name. Let's go ahead and go find the group name. What did I name it? This is awesome practice. Let's go to vcenters. Uh, vcenter dash admins. Let's go back to. Let's just name that the group. That's fine. And then search. Let's go ahead and search that, but it's not there. It's infosecpath.local. Boom, we got that one. All right, so let's hit done. And now we just have to create one more group and I'm gonna just name that one is read only, right? Read only, copy that and go back to infosecpath.local, paste that here, done. Okay, so now let's see if we uh, we have those here. Let's go vSphere, uh, vCenter admins and vCenter read only. We can see those two here now, perfect. Now let's go to users. So now let's go back here to InfoSec Pat. Now we have joined our machine to Active Directory and we added the groups that we have added in Active Directory to our vCenter. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. This is adding your computer, or adding your vCenter server to Active Directory, adding some groups, making sure it's there. We know we're communicating with it. And yeah, that's that concludes this video. So thank you so much for viewing. And remember, let's go Rangers. Today is good, uh, not Good Friday, Black Friday. And the Rangers kicked ass and they won 3-1 against Philly. And I really enjoyed that game. Igor is playing outrageous. And tomorrow they're playing Boston. So 
Let's see how they do. So if you're, if you're a Rangers fan, if you're a Boston fan, if you're a Phillies fan, put in the comments, right? I just love, I love uh, messing with people because the Rangers are really killing it this year. And hopefully they don't, you know, slack at the end and they make it to the playoffs and let's see how far they can go this year. But until next time, guys, have a beautiful day and thank you for viewing.